We could say I'm so thankful. And to some people, that's actually probably what they more mean. Sure. You know, I'm so thankful. Full of gratitude. Right. Yeah. To, to be full of gratitude for whatever. Yeah. It's completely Except different. Than, I'm more favored than you are. Exactly. Yes. Because when we say blessed, we're simultaneously saying anybody who doesn't have what I have is cursed. Yeah. Right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Which is what you'll actually believe. And then you'll start despising the people that don't have what you have. Right. And you'll, you'll, you'll start thinking that they're not doing what God wants them to do. Like, if you preach tithing money to get money in church, or you preach sowing and reaping money to get money in church, if you're the pastors of the church or the people in leadership at the church, you'll begin to despise the poor people. Because you'll believe through that tithing money and sowing and reaping money that you're blessed financially. So anybody who's poor must not be doing what they're supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. And so now you start becoming angry with them. Because they, they must just not be doing what they're supposed to be doing. Give me money even though you don't have it. Right. The poor people despise the ones that are getting all the money too. Well, I don't know. I, I didn't despise anybody when I was poor. I don't. I, I couldn't care less about who has money and doesn't have money. Some people do. If I'm filled with lust and I'm poor, then yeah, absolutely, yeah, I'll despise the the, the rich people. Right. Um, but all those poor people in third world countries, they're not busy despising oh, us. They don't even know that they don't have until we come and tell them. Exactly. <laughs> they watch TV and they go, "Oh my goodness." Look at that. The, the promise of God is his light and his spirit. That's the promise of God. That's the promise God made to Abraham. That's the promise God made to Jesus. It had nothing to do with carnal blessings. Deuteronomy 28 is not talking about blessings in this world. That's not what it's talking about. It's talking about no matter where we go, no matter what we do, no matter what we have, no matter what happens, we'll find ourselves blessed. Why? Because we'll all the time be experiencing peace, love, joy, kindness, long suffering, and meekness. Everywhere we go, everywhere we have, whatever we do, everything, we'll always be filled with that. Mm -hmm. All of it. Mm -hmm. 